guys, it's uh, Bill Evans, uh, Reverend Bill. I'm here for uh, Sound Pro Live. We're down on Fremont Street in downtown Las Vegas. Uh, we're gonna be talking to uh, Michael Ace Baker, um, who is the front of house guy for Colin Hay and Sheila E. and uh, just done a ton of stuff. Um, he'll be out here tonight for the show and uh, see what he's been up to. Okay, so we're with uh, Michael Ace Baker oh. and uh, Ace, uh, what yeah. are you here for? I am here because we are here to celebrate 80s music. There you go. And uh, actually, we're not. <laughs> we well, we are. We're, I'm here with Colin Hay, um, who's going to be performing tonight. Colin, of course, first uh, was known for uh, his band Men at Work. Since then, of course, he's uh, he's had a lot of success on the TV show Scrubs and in the movie Garden State, and has a very uh, successful solo career, but we put together a band uh, that played in Brazil a couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was more of a Men at Work based uh, band and song list, and uh, we're bringing that to the good people here in Las Vegas, um, and uh, hopefully we'll see some dancing and some wild, crazy behavior. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's downtown Vegas, you can count on that, and it's a, it's a holiday weekend too, I don't know if I mentioned that. It's, for the July weekend, so it's a little nuts down here. Well, uh, better way to celebrate the birthday of our country than listening to a band from down under. There you go. <laughs> so uh, tell us what you've been up to for the last little bit. Uh, the last couple of weeks um, have been uh, pretty exciting and fun. I've got to work with some great artists. Um, I've got, um, I did the three weeks out with Colin. Uh, I came home from that basically uh, and I was home in my house for about eight hours. Yeah, because I was in Brazil, right? I was in Brazil and the last week there was basically no sleep. You know, we were on Brazil's schedule, which is the band goes on at 1 a.m. They finish by 3 a.m. You're back at the hotel by 4 a.m. And then you're uh, at the lobby call at 6 a.m. and you're in the plane heading to the next city. Uh, we did that for about six days and at the end of that, I got into a car that took me to an airport. It took us 26 hours to get home to LA. And once I walked in my front door, I had about eight hours to uh, do some laundry and get repacked. And then I held, went up to uh, Portland and Seattle. And I was lucky enough to work with uh, Miss Jonah Osborne, who played with Taj Mahal. They did a co-headlining couple of days together. She was doing the Relish album from uh, top to bottom. And uh, that was fantastic. While I was up there, I also got to, I hung out and worked with some friends in uh, the amazing Neil Diamond recreation band, Super Diamond. And then I came home, and I was home for two days. I flew to Atlanta, and uh, I started rehearsals with um, New Edition, who um, are doing a, a big reunion show. As a matter of fact, tonight, after I, I, and then I came here doing this show. Tonight, when this show ends, uh, there's going to be a taxi park right over there, and I'm going to get in that car, and I have to be at the airport within an hour, and headed to uh, New Orleans, and uh, we're doing the Essence Festival there, and uh, New Edition. We're opening up for Mary J. Blige. We're uh, going to be doing the new edition reunion. And uh, then I come home and do a show in LA on the 4th of July. I go back to New York, do another new edition show, and then I fly to uh, uh, Salt Lake City and I do a couple of dates with Sheila E., the incredibly talented and beautiful. Uh, and always, uh, always inspiring drummer. So, uh, so sleep's just not on the schedule, huh? Sleep's not on the schedule. No, uh, in a couple of weeks, I'm a little afraid to go to sleep. I've only been, I've, I've been 20 years, I've had uh, three lobby calls that I've been late to, and one of them has been in the last two weeks because uh, I allowed myself to go to sleep when I shouldn't have. So, I'm just taking it off the schedule from now until until I'm done and safe. Okay, well, I, I, we've talked to Ace before. I mean, when you were doing, you were sitting in for Dead by Sunrise at one point, uh -huh. Tower of Power for one point, been around doing a lot of stuff. And uh, you, you're gonna do a uh, thing at uh, the Musicians Institute in, in LA coming up, yes? Yep, I'm just gonna, uh, they, they were nice enough to call me to, uh, to do a, a, a little bit of a, a seminar there. And I'm just gonna do it, I'm calling it Road Dog 101. And uh, we're gonna talk about the things 
that will get you fired in a gig or uh, the things that can help you out that don't necessarily have to do with sound sometimes. Sometimes it's as simple as the fact of, you know, when you want to eat some potato chips, you take the bag of potato chips and you pour it into a bowl and you eat it out of there. You don't keep sticking your hand into the bag of potato chips and licking your fingers and put it in. You know, on a normal day basis, if you were to do something with me right here, right now, do something like that, it probably wouldn't matter. But after a week on a bus, there are guys who will lose their mind if you do something like that. So we're gonna go over some of those things, and uh, and I'm looking forward to that class. Actually, it's really nice that they're having me in there, uh, and hopefully answer some questions about some of the fun that we have out here on the road. So, so it really is true. They say you know you get hired 25% for your musical or technical ability and 75% for your ability to ride the bus. And, or, and get on the bus is actually <laughs> apparently uh, what I found out this week is is a good part of percentage in there somewhere as well. Okay, and, and uh, well, you're out now. You're just kind of mixing on the PA of the day, whatever's around. Yeah, some of the gigs, like the new edition gig, um, I'm bringing uh, five Ds for that, and uh, Claire's doing that one. Uh, and uh, here we brought in five Ds. They, I have Adam some boxes for us. Yeah, this is a this is an HAS audio production. Got to get a, a, a pitch in for Absolutely. for my buddies here. And they've been great. They brought in basically whatever we wanted. Uh, I mean, they have these one in here, but board wise, they let us uh, bring in what we wanted, and uh, it's uh, you know. Looking forward to the other the other stuff I'm on. Uh, I think it's pretty much five Ds for the next couple of weeks, actually. And yeah, that's th th the one everybody knows. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's, uh, the effects always return in the same spots. <laughs> Your iPod comes up in the same spots. And um, you and know, you can count on it. Have absolutely. you used the Have you used the version three software yet? Uh, you know, I don't know if I have or not. I, we, we, in Brazil, it was, we were doing all we could just to uh, just to try to make sure that it stayed on. <laughs> we had at one point uh, a large bottle of beer came and smashed right on the comms. Oh. So, and that kind of stuff. So sometimes when you're doing shows in Brazil, it's kind of like you're in the middle of a war zone. And uh, at that point, I wasn't sure if we were on version 3, 4, or 7. And, I was just... <laughs> Hoping that the uh, you know it would stay dry that <laughs> long enough to get through the show. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, listen, we're gonna let you go do your thing and uh, maybe get an hour of sleep or so beforehand. And uh, oh wait, that's not on the schedule. No, no sleep. <laughs> we're gonna enjoy the people here. It's a beautiful day, and Bill. I just want to say congratulations to you and all the new exciting stuff that's happening in your life. And I uh, can't wait to see what you pull out of the uh, the old hat next. And uh, you got a lot of people who are hanging on your your every movement from here on out. So, well, Ace, thank you very you. much, man. I, I, I appreciate that a ton. Okay, this is the Reverend and Ace, and we are out of here. See y'all.